Okay, you want to know how to do exponential regression on the TI Inspire calculator. So this is my long series of videos about the TI Inspire. If you can't find what you're looking for, I would suggest first and foremost go to my website, uh, nkinfinity.com. If you go there, uh, click on New York State Teachers. There'll probably be some links underneath students as well, but click on New York State Teachers, and right here it says TI Inspire Videos. Now, right now, you're going to see a large group. No, only four. I only got four done. Actually, I've got ten done. I think this is my 11th one. I don't know. Something like that um, of videos, and if I think they need a explanation, I'll give you an explanation. Otherwise, you'll just have a title. you say, hey, I want to know how to solve systems of equations using the TI Inspire. Graphing linear functions, whatever you need. If you don't see it here, send me a quick email. Say, hey, Mr. K, I'd like to know how to do um, the area under a normal distribution curve given the standard deviation, uh, and I can tell you how to do that. It's normal CDF, but I'll show you. I'm going to shoot. I'm going to do a video on that later. But tell me what you want to know. Okay. Again, if you don't see it, let me know. Uh, I would appreciate it if you're here. You take a few seconds to hit that. I'll show you what it looks like. It looks like, uh, let's see. Let's go if I go to, I don't know, if you go to YouTube. Uh, let's see what it happens when it happens when you go to YouTube. Oh, I just want to go to YouTube. It's not going to go to YouTube. I'll go to YouTube like that. How about that? Hmm, that's still going to not take me. Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness. Why are these people fighting? They got the dumbest things on YouTube. But let's say, I. <laughs> what is that thing? Five amazing inventions I need to know about. Maybe that thing's going to be a nice snore raster. But do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Not on this one. You might get some weird stuff. But hit the subscribe button on my channel. I would very much appreciate it. So all of these things can be found at www.n. Stands for Newman. She was the woman you saw on the page. K stands for Kraus. Infinity is the length of a math class dot com. All right, here we go. Let's get started. So you'll notice that this is in a table format. And, well, i got to read the directions carefully. Um, it says use 1 to represent 1986. So when I come over here, this is really 1. This has got to be 2 then, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So we're going to get that information in there, and they, wanna, and they want us to do exponential regression. Not a problem. Let's go do it. So we go to our calculator. By the way, on this uh, on my website as well, I forgot to show you that. I show you how to get this calculator. There's the cheapest price, 128 bucks. I know it seems like a lot of money, but your sneakers cost more than that probably. Or you can rent it for uh, 27.50 a year, and it'll look like this. So we'll go. Here we go. Um, I'll come over here, and I forgot what I was doing. So uh, you'll notice. I want my table. So there, let me get my table out so I can see it, get it away from my big bald head. And I'm going to go into, notice this little thing right here. It, I don't know why I did that. It looks like a table. That's the one we want because it kind of looks like our table that's over here. So I'll click on that. Now I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be a warning. Don't use it if you've got 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3. That, that gives you all kinds of problems. For example, let's say I put in here forgot what it was. I think it was, let's say I wanted days. Let's say instead of years, it was days. And I've typed in days. Boom. And whoa, where'd all that crap come from? That's somebody else's crap. I don't want somebody else's crap. So in general, it's always good, a good habit to get like a fresh uh, spreadsheet. Click no, click on the red X, choose no, don't save it. Come in here and make sure you're working in, in tab 1.1. It just will save you some headaches. So what we want to do is we want to give these titles, descriptive titles. This is year, and this is uh, number of stores. I'll just put number. And again, we got to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, because it told us that 1 was 1986. If you use 1986, you're going to be so far off, and this is going to be so wrong, it just won't work. And then we do this is 14, 27, 48. Most common mistake in regression is not typing the numbers incorrectly. It happens all the time. Double check your numbers. Make sure they're right. It doesn't take that long to do. Make sure they also match up here. If they don't match up, you're going to have all kinds of other issues. 
All right, if you've watched any of my other regression videos, you know you do not want to be, what you want to do is type the list in, get the list in, you're, you're, you end up with your cursor there, okay? So you don't want to be there. You want to put your cursor right here. Now, I don't want to be like this in selection mode because that means you're ready to type stuff and you don't want to be typing stuff. And if I do that, you'll know you're in the wrong mode if you go menu, statistics, and they're all grayed out. See how they're grayed out? They're not black. That means you can't touch on them. So you're not allowed to touch them unless they've got black. See, I can't click on that. I can't click on that. I can't click on that. So um, what you need to do is make sure you've just highlighted that cell, not clicked in it, and it's ready to type. Okay? Just make sure that you've highlighted it. All right. So now that we're there, we go to menu. Now it's relatively simple. Statistics, stat calculations, and they want us to do exponential regression. So we scroll down here to A. You can either scroll down or just click the A button. Like right now, I can just click A or click on it, and I go to exponential regression. Now, this is where it gets confusing. Be careful. X is always going to be the independent variable. 90% of the time, it's going to be that first column. Probably 98% of the time, it's going to be whatever that first column is. But that first column is years. I always have kids that will select whatever the first thing is. They'll select number. Like, no, no, no. That's not the independent variable. The independent variable is year. It's the first column. This is the dependent variable. It's number. Get used to it. Get comfortable with it. It's okay. And then just click OK. That's it. So right now, then, it's telling us all we need to know. So I'm going to come over here. And... I'm going to write down the equation right here. Oops. By the way, if you ever get into something you don't want to be in, just hit the escape button right here. Just hit the escape button. Like, get out of that crap. I don't want that. There's the equation. Oops. Now that I don't know what to do. I have no idea how that happened. I'm just going to click right there. All right. So that's the equation. The thing that most kids forget is it's y equals a times b to the x. And quite frankly, I like to put b in parentheses. I just think it looks nicer. You're going to write down exactly what a is, exactly what b is, unrounded. Don't be lazy. We've got enough lazy people in the world. We do not need any more. 10.5959, 5959, Good enough. Plenty enough. By the way, how did I get all those decimals? They'd only show me 5959. Five, nine. You're probably wondering, where am I looking to see those? Right? Because how did I get all these extra decimals after this? Oh, I looked down here. So if you highlight the cell and you look down here, see where my red arrow is? I don't know why that's going like that. See my red arrow right there? Those are where the numbers are. Now I'm going to click here. That'll tell me what B is going to be. 1.5862. 1, 2, 3. Good enough. I'm almost done now. That's got all the hard part done. I come back over here and it says it does not say where to round. It should have said where to round. So we are going to say round to the thousands place. Just to make things easy, fun, we're going to round to the thousands place. So I'll highlight the thousands place. Probably not blue wouldn't be a good color. 1, 2, 3. One, two, three. All right, so now I can write my equation. Y equals 10 point. Now this nine is going to round that to a six. So five, nine, six, parentheses, 1.586 to the X. There's my equation. That's it. That's all there is to exponential regression. I'm going to do one more example, and I think you'll get a handle on it. Okay? All right, I save every time, every in between every time, which is why that little jump goes on. So here we go. We got a population of single-celled organisms were a pop was grown. I think this should be were grown. I don't know. That's why I teach math in a petri dish over a period of 16 hours. The number of organisms at the time is recorded in the table below. X is the number of hours number of organisms. Determine the exponential regression equation. As soon as I see that, I know, okay, going into exponential regression mode. Remember, we don't want to use somebody else's crap, so we click the red X, and we choose no. 
and then we go back into a table, into a spreadsheet. All right, so this is time, and this is number. Let's see, time is going up by twos. Let's see if I can get that whole table in there. I can get it in there. So zero, son of a bleep. I don't know why I did that. Maybe I should go over here and click here. I'm ready to go. Zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Oh, they didn't do that. They skipped 14. Now, what kind of jerk does that? You know why I do that? Because that's what you're going to see periodically. So just be careful. Don't be a monkey. Make sure you know what you're typing in. One of the most common mistakes made on any kind of regression problem is typing the numbers in wrong. 25, 36, 52. Why do all that research? Why collect all that data and use the wrong numbers? You have to make sure you are being very careful with what you type in. All right. So again, you don't want to be down here. You want to be all the way up here. You don't want to be selected like you're ready to type stuff in. You don't want that. You just want it highlighted in blue. We go to menu, statistics, stat calc. Notice how they're all black. Stat calculations. And oh, I'm in something I don't want to be. Escape. Stat calculations and exponential regression. Letter A. Click on it. The dependent variable, the independent variable again is time, be careful it's second, and the independent variable is number. Click OK. So there's our equation. I'm ready to write y, y equals a b to the x. I'm going to tell the greater, hey, I know what a is. Remember, look down here, it'll tell you what it is unrounded, that's what you should be given the greater. 27.20251495. Six, seven decimals, probably good enough. B equals 1.15087339. Good enough. Now let's come back. We're going to write, oh, 10 thousands place. Oh my gosh. So sometimes you get some radical, radical stuff. So 10 thousands, tenths. Hundreds, thousands, this is the ten thousands place, four decimals. Tenths, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands place. So my answer would be, in this case, y equals 27.2025, parentheses, 1.1509, notice the seven's going to round it to the x, and there's my equation. And that is exponential regression. It's not bad. Those are the parts to it. Now you got to be able to answer the other questions. That you're going to have to look at my other tutorial videos for. All right, catch you on the flip side. Hit that subscribe button for me. Thanks, guys. Catch you later. If you don't see something you like or don't see something you want, send me an email.